Welcome back everyone, Broadbent here. Today we are back in the forest creative mode for the first time in quite a while. So last episode, I believe last episode anyway, was building this bridge here, this ginormous bridge. Um, <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy. I've not been in this world for quite some time, so I'm just going to do a quick look around and we'll check out all the creative builds that we've done. So over here is the Ewok village next to the sinkhole. <laughs> Oh god, there's this thing. I really like this build. I'd love to do something like this in survival. Just have a really nice cozy treehouse. Yeah, it'd be really cool. Uh, down here we've got the missile silo, the rocket, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, pretty, pretty mental. And this was, the, I think, the first build ever. The sinkhole edge base. I forgot what I called this thing. It's changed a little bit since I last looked at it, but definitely still, still awesome. And then somewhere over here... I think, if it's in this world or not, I should have an oil rig. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but if it's even here... Oh, <laughs> no, there it is. There's the massive oil rig. Check that out. Imagine, you could legit build this in creative too. It wasn't that hard. It was just a few foundations and then bridging the gap, essentially. I could totally do this. Yeah, really happy I built this. I actually miss building this, like it's making me want to revisit it almost. So as you've seen by the title and thumbnail, today's project is going to be like a miniature castle. Um, it's like a house sized castle. Now because everyone in the forest builds huge castles and I don't want to do that for today's episode. I have done that before, <laughs> don't get me wrong. But I think like a nice little cozy house sized castle will go a long way in the forest. So I'm just trying to scout out a location here, and I think definitely building it somewhere like here would fit quite well. It's definitely gonna look, oh my god, I forgot about this. <laughs> Lake Town. I need to finish this. I, it's just my computer's currently getting like 30 FPS, so I don't really wanna work on it. Building it somewhere like here would be damn beautiful. Like, against the edge of the cliff here. So, I would like to build here, but the project that I've got in mind isn't really going to work at this location. I need an open, flat area, and this area over here works perfectly. Yeah. Like, this is exactly what I need. Right here. Let's do it. So, on each four corners of this building, we're going to have towers, which use rocks. The whole thing's going to be built of rocks, as you've seen, but, but I'm going to be using this sort of tower size as reference for the whole structure, if that makes sense. So, I've got the footprint down for the castle. I want to say castle. Um, it's going to look like this. Now, you might be struggling to picture it, but basically this is going to be the entrance here. It's going to be one story high, like a big open room in the beginning, and then the back is going to have probably two layers, maybe three. Um, and then there's going to be a roof here, well, around about here, and it's going to go up another one. So there's going to be two roofs at different heights. Uh, it's going to look really, really nice. So I'm trying to think. Um, as you can see, the front tower is here a little bit bigger. And that's because of a little secret that I've got planned for the foundations of the towers. So, because I'm using a few mods, uh, including the ultimate cheat menu, I'm allowed to place as many blueprint points as I want, if that makes sense. So you know how, uh, if I get a foundation out really quickly, I can place point, 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 point. Well, I can place as many of those as I like. That's if, um, if the mod is still working, however. So I placed the walls down first to sort of lay out the foundation of the structure. And I can also see the lowest point, which is going to be over here. So I'm going to start building the foundation over here. So yeah, the mod isn't working. I can't place as many points as I want, which is really unfortunate. So I'm going to have to undo all of this and basically do the foundation in the middle first, then connect all the other foundations second. If that makes any sense, basically I'm doing multiple foundations. Okay, so I think... I'm ready to start building. <laughs> I've placed down little floors here for the towers. I'm a little worried as how they're going to turn out. I made a save point, so I can always go back if need be. So I'm just trimming off a few bits of the foundation here because it is too long. I've got to be super careful on getting this right. Just, just a little bit like that. Perfect. 
Okay, I think we're ready to build. I'm just going to turn on the global completion. Should I do that? Because I think I've got blueprints elsewhere. Eh, what the hell. <sighs> I should have cancelled a few of these walls here, but I can just destroy them. Nice, looking good. Okay, so we've got the back of the castle here. And then we've got the front. Yeah, nice. Okay, very carefully. I'm going to turn on instant building destroy. Okay, chill. Same again. Oh my god. <laughs> so I've been working on the foundations of the build for quite some time and I've got to a pretty solid point here. So what I wanted was this little like lip like around the entire build. Now it works really well, just like a bit of extra bit of reinforcement. Um, unfortunately I couldn't get these pieces of wood here to go away, it's just really unfortunate. It's just something I've got to live with there. It's at the back anyway, so that's not so bad. We're going to be looking at it from the front most of the time. The towers all have entrances, not sure how I'm going to make them useful, if I can go up them or not, but we'll uh, tackle that later on. So I think now, all that's really left to do for the base of the build is to add in an entrance and then make a little wall here in the middle which shouldn't take too long at all. Really looking forward to this build. You can sort of get the picture of it. The back's going to be a little bit higher than the front and I don't think I can do anything about the level. You can see right there there are different heights. Not much I can do about that now. Wow, okay, so if I want to build an entrance, I've completely take down that wall. That's going to be a quite annoying to rebuild. Ooh, that'll do quite nicely. Nice little ramp like that. Straight up and in. There we go. Alright. Not bad. Not bad at all for a little entrance, that. Let me put the sun on this side. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Okay, so we can go inside. We're gonna have the wall here. I need to start getting height on this structure now. Now, I really wanted to put in as many windows as I can, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get any on the tower, which is what I wanted. You know, like archer towers, but I'm gonna have to do some on here. All right, there we go. All the windows are in. So on the main entrance, we've got two on the left, two on the right, one at the back right, one at the back left, and then two at the very back. And then I'm just gonna sort of fill it all in. So from here up to pretty much the top, oh god, I hate, I hate into destroy. Um, it's pretty much just gonna be a sweet ride now. So I'm gonna add in the third layer here. Well, I spoke too soon. I've gotta place in all of the walls from here on out manually because of the windows that I added, they're just not really like level. So the autofill just doesn't really know what to do when it comes across them. So, um, the plans for the build, I think right now, is to cap off this bit. This is going to go no higher, but the towers are going to go a little bit higher, if that makes sense. Um, so, actually, I'm going to add a floor in, then I'm going to raise the wall up by one, so it's going to be a little bit taller than what it is. So, let's add in a few of the towers here. Okay, so this floor placement isn't perfect, and I can always delete it, so I'm just going to build it. So, there's a little bit of a gap here, but I can sort of patch that up with the rock wall above. So, these towers aren't usable going from the bottom to the top. It's just too... it's just too high. I can't climb it, I can't jump and grab a chair or anything like that, so... I can only use them going down, which is still sort of okay. It's a nice little way to get down really quick, I quite like that, and this little, uh fireman shoot and that's for all of them so I'm leaving them open like that I can't bother placing uh, you know like a nice roof on because it'll be really weird especially if I was building it out of rocks so that's the front here I'm gonna start working on the back here so we can raise it up a little bit as well okay so height wise hmm I think that's pretty spot on yeah I like that that's enough room for the second floor, and we should be able to just cap it off as well. So it'd be a raised platform like this, about this height looking down. This will be nice. So I've instantly regretted not building all of this floor at the exact same height. Damn, that would have been a really good idea. So, I could continue building the wall on this outer layer, but I think I'm going to make it go in once again. 
yeah, that makes sense to me. So I'm going to make a point right here and then over in this corner. So I'm bringing the whole thing in ever so slightly. There. <laughs> it's a little bit off, but you can't really tell, like, the back. It's just the whole thing's a little bit wavy. Don't know what went wrong, but that should do. And right here is going to be the entrance. I'm not going to put any windows on this layer because I've already got the big balcony here, so I think it's good without. So I've been trying for ages to trim off these parts, and I just can't. They're too, like, connected to the, the bricks. As soon as I try, as soon as these are ready to trim with the hole cutter, then the rocks show up as well. So I really can't get rid of those. I've done the best I can at the back here as well. And on this side, I still can't get rid of those either. So that's a bit unfortunate. All right, so I'm up on the top floor looking down. Not too bad, not too bad. Got the emergency chute here. If I can just squeeze through, yep. Yeah. All the way down to the bottom floor. You do take damage, uh, but that's not so bad. But at least they work, which is the uh, which is the important thing. Now, unfortunately, if I want to finish this project, the interior mainly, which is the only thing that's left, I'm going to have to do that in another video because I have run out of time, unfortunately. I'm just going to finish off that right there. And we are sorted. So this has been the, I don't know, the mini castle. Let me know what you think to this in the comments below. I think it's a little bit messy here and there. But overall, as a build, it's turned out really, really well. There's definitely a few things that I would change if I was to do it again. Definitely uh, a few mistakes that I would fix. But that's all way in the past now, and I can't change that, unfortunately. So I hope you enjoyed this creative mode episode. If you would like to see me build the interior of the project of this castle, make sure to let me know about that in the comments below. I'll be reading through those. If I get enough suggestions, then I will probably just go ahead and do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.